five bedroom homes going for 8,990,000 rand. An equestrian estate that houses all the amenities a spectacular country home would need. Homes of this caliber are hard to find. This is the Private Property Home Shopper Show. My name is Chad Riveras. Welcome home. Coming through the double doors, you find yourself in a wooded entry hall that is, without a doubt, absolutely spectacular. Two staircases that wind their way up to the top floor, and then we've got two windows on either side, and what it does is actually create an arch, running all the way up to the roof, across as a sunroof, and then down this way. Not only does it allow you to look out onto some spectacular greenery, but lets in so much natural light. As you walk across, your footsteps are gonna just echo off of this incredible wood floor. But we're gonna walk all the way to this end of the home, across or through these double doors and into your kitchen. So, the kitchen's obviously got a lot of amenities. The first is your dry goods storage right over here. This is your pantry. Then over here, you've got your scullery. Now the scullery is gonna be the place where you'll find your double sink, all the under counter storage for your appliances, as well as space for your sink, and even more dry goods storage. And that leaves all of this free from clutter because front and center, you've got this freestanding island, extractor fan above, all finished in stainless steel. And then the stainless steel continues below with this freestanding gas hob, six top gas burner. But this is a country home. We are in an equestrian estate and that design element carries through. You've got your raw pewter bowl over here with your really nice country style faucet. If we move a little bit onwards, all of your lighting is that unfinished wrought iron, beautiful lighting overhead. You've got your little breakfast nook over here, surrounded by windows overlooking the lush, although I guess in the middle of summer, maybe not so lush, but all of your greenery, the horses running, beautiful, beautiful outlook of Midrand there. So I love where they've angled everything behind me is your outside area. So if you'd like to continue your breakfast outside, you can do it again, more hanging chandeliers. You've got your braai area, as well as your indoor, outdoor nook here. So if you'd like to entertain guests outside, you're gonna open up all these windows. You've got another prep sink with that pewter, pewter bowl, and you can sit here, bring all of the food through while you enjoy the outdoors. And this outdoor, well, it is really, there's quite a bit here to enjoy. So we come along further. Here's where we can sit down, where we can relax. We've got raw beams exposed, and then this incredible pool area right here. Rim flow pool overlooking your boma right over there. You've got your very own incredible outdoor boma for all your entertainment needs. You've got your exposed fireplace, as well as a bar area there. And what a pool to have to enjoy these South African summers. But if we run on a little bit further, let's move back inside the house and you can see how well they've incorporated low maintenance indoor outdoor living. So coming through these two doors, you find yourself in your living room area. So we've got the TV, we've got all the speakers mounted on the wall. We've also got a gas fireplace, which I think is almost a staple within this price point in homes like these. But one of my favorite features at least is this right over here, your very own private atrium. All of it can be closed off with these sliding doors over here, but how cool to have an atrium in your home. Another really cool feature about this atrium is that you never have that issue with humidity. The home is always airy and light, but I think this is an epic little feature, especially since the ceiling goes all the way to the top with another one of those incredible skylights. So then on my left-hand side, before we move any further, this here is your guest bathroom. Let's take a look and then let's move a little bit further along the home and see what it has to offer. This guest bathroom is split up in two separate sections. The first door leads out onto a very nice sink in case you need to do any washing up. And then another door leads off to another sink as well as toilet so that you can split those duties in case you're entertaining large crowds. And now with the guest bathroom covered, we're gonna walk down the passageway and then stroll ourselves right into your sitting room. So this sitting room is conjoined with the dining room area. What they both share is a dual fireplace, but not a see-through fireplace. Essentially, each of them have got their very own fireplace, one here, a gas fireplace, and then one on the other side of the wall. Now, your sitting room sits adjacent to your outside atrium, that beautiful little atrium, but also has doors that open up onto your patio and lead onto the garden. But moving on a little bit further, you find yourself in your dining room area with its very own fireplace, down lighting from these two chandeliers with the 
design elements that fit so comfortably with this country home. We've also got a door over here that leads out onto the front side of the house and you can just take a peek at that really nice fountain over there. And we've got another door over there that we're gonna speak about in a moment. But let's go through this way and we'll find ourselves walking right into your very own wine cellar. Take a look at this, all of those beautiful wrought iron vines opening up into this right over here, your very own fully kitted out wine cellar, face brick, pebbles on the floor, beautifully temperature controlled for all of your drinking needs. And then sitting right next to your wine cellar is what we could call your smoking den or your cigar room. We've got three doors all leading out onto your outside area, your very own, this time wood stove. And then over here, for all of our aspiring hunters, you've got a built-in gun safe, or it could be a valuable safe if you'd like to repurpose it like that. But now that we've spoken about all of the living areas, it's time to talk about the bedrooms. But before we get to those bedrooms, let's come back to that door that I said we're gonna to get to in a moment. So, the door on my right-hand side essentially closes off this part of the main house from that cottage area over there. You can have that as a guest room. That guest room has its own entryway, exit, kitchen, dining room, lounge. But you can also configure it as an office, which it is configured as right now. So let's take a look at what it's got for us. So walking through, you'll find yourself in a small little office area. This makes a perfect lounge area for any guests that might be staying over. You can see all the plug points in the wall perfectly situated for you to put a TV up and some couches with all that natural lighting that pours in. Adjacent to that, you've got your bathroom area with a walk-in shower sink as well as toilet and then a small kitchenette. You've got a prep sink, under counter storage space for a fridge as well as plenty of cupboard space both above and below. Walking out of that kitchen and along the passage, you find yourself in your master bedroom. And this is a very, very spacious bedroom for a guest area. Now you've got a stunning chandelier just above you and then two doors leading out to the front as well as the back garden. You've got cupboard space that is built in as well as blinds shielding you from the light and also giving you just the right amount of privacy. But now that does surmise what this let's say guest area slash office area, looks like it's time now to enjoy the bedroom. So we're gonna head off back to the main house and show you what these bedrooms look like. And here we are on the top floor landing, not only surveying the entry hall of this beautiful five bedroom, 8,990,000 rand home, but also we are here now to enjoy what the bedrooms have to offer for us. So let's take a look at bedroom one to four, and then it's time for the creme de la creme right behind me, the master suite. If we have to start this tour from the far right hand side of the home, we come to a bathroom there that has a full sized bathtub sunken into a raised deck. You've got your toilet, single vanity and plenty of light coming through the windows where you can also enjoy some of the nice greenery that living in an equestrian state has to offer. If we walk across from that bathroom, we find ourselves in the first bedroom. Now this bedroom has built in cupboards, carpets, as well as space for any other accessories you might like to decorate the room with. You've also got the killer feature, which is your very own balcony. Now this balcony overlooks the outside area, your garden, but gives you incredible views all the way off to Stain City. Moving just across the hall to bedroom two, you will also see the exact same features. Really well equipped bedroom, lots of light, lots of space, your very own balcony, and those incredible views are repeated here once again. Walking out of the second bedroom and across the hall, you can look down onto that beautiful atrium containing all the plants and trees, but then you come and find yourself in another bathroom. Now this bathroom also does have your toilet, freestanding sink, and this services your bedroom that is located directly adjacent to it. This is an east-facing bedroom, all of the rest of them being south-facing. This bedroom's got plenty of space, built-in cupboards, works perfectly as an office as well, which is what it's currently calibrated for, but it is right next to the creme de la creme, the best of the best, the master suite. So I'm gonna have to kick off my shoes and show you what this master suite looks like. And here we are in the master suite. A four-poster bed really does tell the tale of incredible this room is. Plush carpets, your very own fireplace, down lighting with speakers in the ceiling and not one but two of your very own balconies, one south facing and the other one, well, I'd have to say west facing if I just judge by the way we're looking. One of the balconies being so big, you get to put some furniture on there. You can sit down, have a nice cup of coffee while you enjoy the sun rising or 
What I'd personally be spending my time doing is not only just walking through this incredible walk-in closet, you can see all the cupboard space, as well as a dressing table right over here. And there is one little feature here I'd like to talk about is behind this cupboard right here is your very own laundry chute. You can pile any of your clothing in here, press a button and it goes straight down to your laundry area. But I did say what I'd be doing is I'd be walking into this master bathroom because it has some incredible features and I'll talk about it right now. This is where I'd want to be spending all my time. You have not only one walk-in shower with an incredible view of pretty much everything. You can see all the way down to Stain City, you can see all the way down to Danefern, but you have an indoor as well as an outdoor shower. So open up that sliding door, you get to sit on that balcony that gives you all the privacy and enjoy a summertime shower. But if a shower is not your thing, right here we've got a sunken bathtub and it is a spa bath that comes with all those jets massaging out all your knots or troubles. Over here you've got a dual vanity, under counter storage, over counter storage and then your toilet privately put in away behind a door. I also love the massive windows here looking out onto your garden. So it is private but it also makes you feel like you're out in the Kruger, you're at a game lodge, you really do have all the means and all the tools to relax in this bathroom. But that does sum up this incredible home right here in Midrand. What we'd like to do is go downstairs and talk about how you can become its next owner. And here we are, we actually couldn't even go downstairs because this balcony is just so beautiful. So, if you'd like to be the next owner of this incredible 8,990,000 in home, what I'd like you to do is contact the agent, all of her details on screen right now. And I'd like to give a big shout out to the agency Jarvitz for lending us this home to shoot today. I wouldn't hesitate as homes like this in equestrian estates that are so full of security, space, comfort and peace are going fast. But from myself, Chad Riveras, from the team at the Private Property Home Shopper Show, we'd like to thank you for tuning in once again and we'll see you next time on the Home Shopper Show. Goodbye.